in the Dunny universe, the great tree of possibilities represents all the ages you can dream of and the only thing you have to do is write them down and bring them to life and link to them. That means that somewhere on this tree of possibilities there must be an age with only a grey platform floating in the middle of a black nothingness and on that platform there is a brown box that you can kick around while walking along the platform. Well that is exactly what we are going to create so let's get started. By the way if the Plasma Engine brings up a warning when you start 3D Studio Max regarding the unit setup, go to Customize, Customize Unit Setup, System Unit Setup, and make sure that one max unit equals one foot, because that is the internal unit of the Plasma Engine. Let's first of all create a box, and don't pull it upwards, but pull it downwards, that way we make uh, sure that the top of the box is exactly on ground level. Let's change the color to gray and call it a box. I always attach these little prefixes because later on when you have lots of objects in your scene and you hit the letter H on the keyboard to bring up the object selection dialog, you have them in a nice list sorted according to their type. What I'll also do is create an avatar proxy, which basically shows me how large the avatar is so that I get a sense for the scale of the rest of the objects in the world. The average avatar is 6 feet high. So let's just change that value to 6. And let's make it 1 and 1 here. And already you can see it's quite small, so we need to zoom in to see it. So this is our average avatar. And now for the first time let's bring up the component manager because right now you would just fall through the box as if it weren't there. You need to assign it some components either up here in plasma component manager or you just hit C on the keyboard if you've set up the keyboard shortcut. Add new misc page info. And this is very important. You can rename it if you want just to page info every object in your scene, whether it is visible or invisible, whether it's a physics object, a light, a dummy, whatever, all these objects must be attached to a page info component so that the engine knows in which age they belong and in which part of the age. With the floor object selected, click on attach to selected objects. And if you now go to the utility panel and to the component utility, you will see that the page info now appears in the component tab of this object. We need to make some adjustments here. First, the age that we want to attach this object to is test age and the page here is main room because we only have one page in our age file. The drop down list that appears here depends on the .h files that you have created in the dot subdirectory of the output directory of the Plasma Engine. So refer to the tutorial on setting up everything to know how to do that. Back in the component manager, let's also add a new physics terrain. And let's rename this, just right click on it to rename it, terrain collision box. And also attach to selected objects, you can see that the component utility gets updated. And in the components utility we need to adjust this just a little bit, because I think box is good here, obviously our our floor is a box, so you can select box. I talk about the other options here in another tutorial. Right now the player couldn't even link into the age because the engine doesn't know where to put him or her. You could create a dummy for that here under helpers dummy. However the problem that I have with dummies is if I rotate the viewport you can see that they show up behind other objects although they should be obscured by them and that just confuses me sometimes so now I also use a simple primitive box just change the color to a bright green and if you right click on the object and bring up its properties you can set it to display as box which looks exactly like a dummy however it now hides behind the other objects. Let's call this object dummy start point. Another little thing here that is interesting is 
in what direction will the player look when he enters the age? Because this is just a box, so where is he going to look? Well, if you select the box and move mode is active, you can see the three axes of the object. However, right now, they refer to the view coordinate system, which you can see up here. Change this from view to local, and you can see the local axis of this object. The player is always going to face in the opposite direction of the y-axis of this start point object. That means in this case the player is going to face this direction. To change this you can just rotate the object but be sure to be in local mode otherwise you don't affect the coordinates of the object. So make sure rotation is selected and local mode and then you can rotate the object let's say 90 degrees over here go back to move mode you now see that the y-axis is pointing in this direction and that means that the player will now appear in the age facing this way bring up the component manager attach it to the page info as I said all the objects need to be attached to that component and also create a new type starting point and you can rename that to start point and also attach it to this object. So now the engine knows this is the place where the player will be put when he links into the age. Now let's create our box that you can kick around in the age. Let's create a new box. And again bring up the component manager, add it to the page file and also this time create a new physics symbol because we want to be able to interact with this object and kick it around so this is the thing you need for that and let's just call it physics simple box attach it to the box go to the component utility and you can see it is attached here now you can change different settings. For example, the mass, obviously how heavy the object is. This is in American pounds and the Plasma Engine documentation says that you should use real world values here. Bounce means how other objects bounce off this object. So this value can be between zero and one. One means it's like a rubber surface and zero means the, it's like a brick wall. Friction means how rough the surface of this object is. One would seem like an icy surface and zero would mean sand or grass or something that has a high friction. Here under bounding shape you can now select the collision hull for this object and in this case because it is a simple box you can check box and that's okay. Down here you have don't synchronize and that is important later on when you want to publish your age online so that many people can join your age at the same time. In this case you want the object to be synchronized so that all players can see the box in the same way and that they can all interact with it. However you can also choose not to synchronize it then it could happen that different players that visit your age see this object differently. However for example for leaves that are just floating around the ground it doesn't matter whether all the players see them exactly the same so you could check don't synchronize in this case let's leave that unchecked and start inactive that just means that when you enter the age for the first time this object is inactive until you touch it for the first time that saves processing time for the engine however make sure that your object is a little bit above the ground Otherwise, it could happen that it falls through the floor when you link into the age. In the second part of this tutorial, we will set up some basic lightning and then finally test our age for the first time.